Assalamu alaikum, it's Melanie from Old Hijab and today I'm going to walk you through my skincare regimen. Okay, so I've been getting a lot of questions about what type of products I use on my skin and what my daily regimen is like. So before I show you everything I use, I do want to say that I am kind of a skincare nut. I have been since I was probably 18. I've been using um, you know, night creams and eye creams and all that since a really young age. And most of that is because, how did I, I know I have been blessed with really good genes when it comes to skin. Um, my mom has beautiful skin and she's in her 60s. And so I'm just trying to do everything I can to kind of preserve and um, keep that going for as long as I can. So let's get started. The very first thing that I do is I cleanse. Now, the cleanser that I use is Cetaphil. It's a very generic cleanser that a lot of people use. It's recommended by a ton of dermatologists. And it's very gentle, it's, it's not harsh, and it's inexpensive, which is great. Now, you are gonna find lots of cleansers out there that are very expensive. And I prefer not to invest my money in cleansers and rather in different products like creams and serums because what you're what essentially is happening is the money that you're paying for those ingredients that are in these cleansers are basically just being washed down the drain um, instead of being soaked into your skin like a serum or like a cream and so I like to just stick with my Cetaphil I've been using it for years it's a it's a phenomenal product one thing I will say with cleansing is I do cleanse twice at night and once in the morning and the reason I do that is because at night you're going to want to wash off all the impurities that got onto your skin throughout the day. Whether from being outside or indoors, your skin does get dirty, even if you don't wear any makeup. And so you're going to want to cleanse your skin once from all the impurities and then a second time and you'll feel this really, really deep cleansing um, feeling on your skin of it just being super clean after that second cleanse. So, and then in the morning, you're going to want to just cleanse once because essentially all you're washing off is the product that you put on from the night before. So that's cleansing. The second thing I do is I tone. Um, a lot of people don't understand why you need to use a toner. So basically what a toner does is it balances out your pH levels in your skin. So after you've cleansed, your pH level, levels kind of just get out of whack. And so what you're doing is you're balancing out that pH level to um, a degree it needs to be so that the next products that you put on after can work effectively. Think of it as like a primer. So when you put a primer on, you're using that to, to smooth out any fine lines or anything, any impurities in your skin so that the products used afterwards can work effectively. Same thing goes with a toner. You can kind of think of a toner as like a primer for your skin. I like to use this Neutrogena alcohol-free toner um, because it is alcohol-free and because it's inexpensive as well. Really basic drugstore uh, buy. Really great product. I've been using this for a long time. <clears throat> Now, after I cleanse in my tone, and I tone, I use a serum. Now, this is something I've incorporated into my regimen very recently, actually, and it's, it's, it's not necessary, but it's just an extra step I like to add to everything I do to kind of give me that preventative measure and also to um, just get, you know, softer skin. This serum is by Caudalie. Um, it's a anti-wrinkle serum and it's a radiant serum and you put this on before your moisturizer, a really thin layer. And what I love about this serum is that you do not feel it when it's on, which is awesome. It's not thick. When I put my moisturizer on after the serum, I, it still feels very light. It smells great. It's all natural. It's a really awesome serum. I do recommend this. Now, I did just get a sample of a serum or a treatment by Sunday Riley. She has her own skincare line, which is phenomenal, and it's a treatment or a product called Good Jeans. I just got a sample from it from Sephora, and I was really excited about it because I've heard a lot about her line, and it really was phenomenal. Definitely, when I'm done with this, I'm going to be getting that, that treatment. I just You can use it as a mask or as a serum night and day. And what I did is I just put it on my face and I immediately saw the results. It was um, brighter and smoother and more radiant and I, I definitely saw the results throughout the day even. It was a lasting effect. So definitely check that out if you're interested in using a serum. So the last thing I do for my morning routine, or the second to last thing, is my moisturizer. Now depending on your skin type, you're going to want to choose a moisturizer that's best for you. I happen to have oily combination skin, so I have a very oily T-zone and then the rest of my skin is normal. So I didn't want anything too thick. 
I used to use Oil of Olay, the, um, the all-encompassing SPF moisturizer, the daily one, and it worked well for years, but as I got older, I felt like I just needed something more. Also, because I have such oily skin, whenever I use that moisturizer, I still needed to use oil blotting sheets throughout the day. It didn't help me take care of that oil issue I had. And so I started using this not too long ago. I actually just posted about it on Instagram. And it's an excellent product if you have oily skin because it's not too much, but it still gives you the moisture you need and it has SPF, which is extremely important. Any moisturizer you use, make sure it has SPF because sun is one of the leading causes of skin damage. So make sure your moisturizer has SPF. If you have dry skin, they actually have a similar product, but instead of the fluid, this is the Vino Perfect Fluid, it's the Vino Perfect, um, I think, cream or something like that. It's a bit thicker, so it'll be better for you if you have drier skin. But if you have oily skin, this is perfect. So the last thing I do is my eye cream. Well, um, my eye cream and then my my finishing touch, which is my rosebud salve. I've been using this since I was probably 16 when I first discovered it at Anthropology. It's an awesome, awesome just chapstick, lip gloss, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's not really a gloss. It's really a chapstick, but... Um, but just better than a chapstick. It smells great. It's the best. I've probably gone through like 20 tins and I have like three or four laying around the house because I just, I use it all of it, constantly. So when it comes to eye creams, I have probably used everything out there. I have been using concealer since I was probably 13 because I always had really bad under eye circles. It's just genetic. It's nothing that I can really get rid of. So when I'm looking for an eye cream, I don't really look for an eye cream that'll help with dark circles because I've learned that they never help. The best I can do for my dark, dark circles is drink a lot of water and get enough sleep, but they're always going to be there. And if you are of Arab or um, South Asian descent, for the most part, you're going to probably suffer like me when it comes to dark circles and there's really nothing we can do about it because a lot of it is really genetic. So making sure that I have a good eye cream that moisturizes and gives me moisture to help with those fine lines is really the key in what I'm looking for as opposed to something that's going to combat dark circles. It's not really going to help you. So like I said, I probably tried every eye cream under the sun. My favorite one is Derma Doctor Wrinkle Revenge. I discovered this within the last year or so and I've gone through two tubs of this already. Now, I'm actually not using it right now just because I wanted to switch it up. I didn't want my skin to get too used to it, but this definitely is my favorite eye cream. So the eye cream I'm using currently right now is Peter Thomas Roth. So I kind of went crazy when I was in the States recently and I, I bought a bunch of eye creams because I don't have this available here in Dubai and so I thought I would take advantage while I can. So this is one of the ones I got. It's the Laser Free Resurfacing Eye Serum. And this gets rave reviews. People love this eye cream. And it's more of a serum, actually. It's, it's more of a gel. It's not a cream. So it's perfect for the morning if you want just to light something underneath before if you wear concealer. It's perfect. Um, <clears throat> like I said, it gets rave reviews. People really love it. I've only been using it for about a month or so. So I can't tell you that it's phenomenal yet. But so far, I have been seeing results in my under eyes. Um, so this is a good... Good, um, an eye, a good eye serum. It is a bit pricey though, I have to say. So that is my day regimen and on to the nighttime. So at night I cleanse like I said twice and then I tone once with a cotton ball. So when it comes to the night creams and the things I use, um, think of shampoo. You know when you use a new shampoo you, re you see that your, your hair has this softness to it, it feels cleaner, it just feels great. I kind of apply that same philosophy to skincare. So I don't like to use the same product every single day. I like to switch it up and I like to kind of shock my skin so that it doesn't get used to one product so I can reap the benefits of different products and still have all the products that I use be effective. So one product that I use once a week is a retinol. Now, if you're in your late 20s and up, I would recommend using uh, or incorporating a retinol treatment into your regimen. Um, if you're, you know, unless you're in your late 30s and up, I wouldn't recommend using this more than once a week. I only use a retinol treatment once a week because I am still a bit younger and I really don't need it all that often. But um, I do use it for preventative measures, and, and retinol is an excellent anti-aging treatment to use. The one I use is Thomas Peter Roth. It's called Retinol Fusion PM. It's probably the best over-the-counter retinol treatment you can get. 
You just need a really thin layer, but do be aware that it is a little drying. So if you have dry skin, I suggest waiting until it dries and then putting a moisturizer over it. Because I have oily skin, I don't really need to. I can just put this on, put on an eye cream and go to bed. So this is what I do once a week. And then another thing I use two to three, two to four times a week even is this oil of Olay, oil, Olay Regenerist. It's called the Night Resurfacing Elixir. And what this is basically is an exfoliator. And one of the best things you can do for your skin is exfoliate. Not just with a weekly exfoliator, but with a treatment that you use almost daily. So when I first used, when I first bought this, I used it every day. And I use it, like I said, still about two to four times a week. It's excellent. What this is gonna do is throughout the night, it's going to work. <clears throat> on your skin by removing the dead skin cells, the impurities, the things on the outer surface on this, of the skin that need to be removed so that the younger, renewed, newer skin from underneath can come through. <clears throat> and since this um, exfoliator is working all night long, when you wake up in the morning, you're going to wash your face and you're going to feel that it's just so much smoother. When I used to use just the regular tub of Olay like night cream, I noticed an immediate difference between the two and I ditched that one and I started using this as my night cream. It's, it's an amazing product and it's inexpensive, so I highly recommend it. Another thing I use is a rich moisturizer. So in addition to an exfoliator, the next thing that you're going to want for your skin is a moisturizer. You're going to want to exfoliate, so remove all the dead skin cells, and then you're going to want to put moisture in your skin to plump it up to make sure you're getting rid of those or preventing the fine lines and to just give yourself that youthful look with the moisture. So this moisturizing cream I use is by L'Occitane. My mom kind of introduced me to the, to the line. She's very obsessed with it. And I had a little sample of this. It's their Immortal Cream. And I didn't use it for a long time, but then I used it one night, and the next morning I woke up and my skin was just plump and youthful, and it just looked amazing. And I was like, okay, I need to buy this pronto. So I went out and got a tub. It is a little expensive, I have to say, but it does work, and it is worth the money. And on top of that, I've had this for months, and I use it, I lather this on my skin. I'm not, I'm not, I don't use it sparingly. And I still have a ton left, so it does last a long time. For me, it's worth the investment. It's an excellent moisturizing cream. I probably use this two to three, maybe two times a week probably. So those are the three things I kind of alternate between um, throughout the week. Sometimes if I have a sample from Sephora or something that I want to try out, I'll use that and see if it's something that I want to buy. Otherwise, those are the three products that I'm going to use. A retinol, an exfoliator, and a moisturizer. Now, after that, I'm going to put on my eye cream. Now, like I said, since I was in the States, I went a little crazy and I just got a bunch of eye cream. So this is what I'm using for nighttime. It's again another Peter Thomas Roth. And this is the Mega Rich Intensive Anti-Aging Cellular Eye Cream. Now, this is a bit thicker. And so if you are going to use a different morning and night eye cream, you don't need to. But if you are, then make sure your eye cream is a little bit thicker. Why not? I mean, it's you're using it at night, so why not have like a nice thick eye cream to um, help with that moisture, which is going to help with those fine lines. So this is what I use. I wouldn't recommend using this for the morning. It is going to be, a, it's too thick for me at least. Um, the serum I showed you is a little bit better for when I have to put concealer on top, but this is my night eye cream. And both of these I've been using in tandem, and my, I have noticed a difference in my under eyes, but I'm not sure exactly if it's both of them working together or one or the other, but um, these are the two I'm using right now. So in addition, and that's really it, so then I'll put on my rose salve again and then go to bed. So in addition to all that, throughout your week, you're still going to want to do things for your skin. Number one, first and foremost, you're going to want to exfoliate once a week. It's so important that you exfoliate. It's probably the most important thing I do for my skin. And the exfoliator I use is a sugar and olive oil homemade scrub. So I basically just get an old tub uh, from some other cream. I put in olive oil and sugar and it lasts me about three weeks, three different applications. So you want a nice thick consistency to create a nice scrub that you're just going to scrub around your entire face. And you want a, a fine grain with the sugar. If it's too thick, it's going to be too harsh for your skin. Now, I love that exfoliator because the olive oil just sinks into my skin and my skin's glowing for the next two to three days. It's an excellent homemade remedy and it's inexpensive. Now, if you wanted to buy something, if you don't feel like doing something at home, one exfoliator that I just tried is this Dr. Brandt um, Microdermabrasion. Now, I've actually 
done microdermabrasion in an actual clinic so I knew what it was supposed to feel like. And this is actually a really good product. Um, I'm sure it's expensive, so I doubt that I'll actually go out and buy it. But if it is something that you wanted to incorporate and you didn't want to do the olive oil or sugar scrub, then this is a really, really good alternative. I used it a few days ago and my skin is still really smooth and I can feel the effect from this. So it's really good. Another thing I wanted to add with the exfoliator is you can add a few drops of lavender oil or witch hazel or other things you may already use to kind of just um, give it a little something extra. Now the next thing I use and I just kind of have on the side is this Bliss Triple Oxygen Instant Energizing Mask. And that's exactly what it does. It's instantly energizing. It's basically a shot of oxygen to your face. It just wakes your face up. Um, it makes you look like you've had 10 hours of sleep. Um, and the results are immediate. So I use this right before an event, right before anything that I'm going to that I want to look nice and fresh. I'll use this right away. You'll see the results. You can use this daily. You can use it only when you want that look. But it's an excellent um, treatment or mask to use. It's, an, it's a foam. You leave it on your face for five minutes and you wash it off. It's really, really good. I've had this for a long time. It is expensive, but it lasts a while. Um, so I would recommend it. Now, that is pretty much it. That is my comprehensive skincare routine. Somebody did ask me about facials and whether or not I do facials. So I actually just got a facial done not too long ago because Hamdi and I just came back from Hajj and I felt like my skin was really just dirty and I needed to just cleanse it out thoroughly and get extractions done and so I just had a facial done. But before that, I would say I haven't had a facial in like a year and a half, maybe even two years. If you're as diligent as I am about skincare and as vigilant, then you won't really won't need to get facials done. And they are pretty pricey, so it's not something that I kind of include in my own regimen. But if you know if you're not as di diligent as I am about this kind of stuff, then you might want to incorporate that. But you really don't need to if you're taking care of your skin properly. So the last thing I really want to cover is less about the topical products that you can put on your skin and more the things that you can do for yourself from the inside out, which I believe are just as, if not more important than the things that I just went through. So the first of which being water, drinking lots of water and making sure that you're flushing out those toxins and you're giving your skin that moisture that it needs. The second is sleep. You know, try not to skimp on your sleep because good sleep really, it's in your sleep that your skins actually regenerate and new skin cells form so that they can come to the forefront. And third is healthy food. You're, you don't want to be eating unhealthy foods, fried, processed foods, fast food. Those things are going to have a direct result in your skin. They're going to dull your skin. It's your skin cells aren't going to regenerate as quickly and you're just going to see a, a, a difference in your skin in a negative way. Certain foods are um, proven to actually give you a glow in your skin like cantaloupe, like red bell peppers, leafy greens like spinach. You know, just eat healthy, lots of fruits and vegetables if you don't like eating them raw because cooking them really does take out all of the nutrients. If you don't like eating them raw, then juice them. I actually went on a three-day juice cleanse that was absolutely insane. Like I, I did not think I was going to reap the benefits that I did, not only for my skin, but even for chronic pain issues and just so much that it helped with. But obviously a, a juice cleanse isn't sustainable for the long term. So even incorporating juicing once a week, a few times a week, once a day if you can, if you can hang that. But otherwise make sure that you're eating very healthy. All these things are going to help you for your skin today and tomorrow. You want to prevent, 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 even if you're young. At least that's my philosophy, and that's why I, I am, I'm just so serious about my skincare, as you can see. So I actually have more tips on a blog I called How to Get Beautiful Younger Looking Skin. I'll link to it, and you can read some other tips that will hopefully help. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any other questions, feel free to reach out to me directly at melanie.eltark at othijab.com. You can also stay updated with us on Instagram and on Facebook. And as always, shop online at othijab.com. I'm actually wearing the English Garden scarf, and I'm wearing the Mon Amour collection for Hot Hijab hand chain and MashaAllah bracelet. So you can check those out online. All right, we'll see you next time, inshallah. Take care. Assalamu alaikum. Oh,
Yeah.